what it is guys it's you dino we're back again with another video for a new game that i've been reviewing for a while and it is called timberborn i'm going to start off with the the accessibility features now because this is a pc game it doesn't really have a lot in the way of accessibility but that's understandable because this is an rts game and there isn't really a lot of need for accessibility features now you can use controllers in most of these games they work perfectly fine but it's primarily aimed at mouse and keyboard now bear that in mind take that with a truckload of salt that's just how these games are specifically designed they work better in those aspects but they do end up making changes and adaptions throughout the life cycle of most games that will allow for people to better use with controllers now that is great that does mean that they improved the accessibility for people who are less able-bodied to be able to get involved or people with threats like myself who tend to have issues with using mouse and keyboard sometimes but it's it's all in all it's a good thing so after that we're going to jump into the next one which as you guys know is the one that we always do afterwards it is the customization now because this is an rts you get two choices of character that you can be you can be either the dark bird beavers or you can be the light third beavers there is a third one after you've reached a certain point in the game that you can unlock which is a third class i do believe but again this is this is just on what i had played and i i spent loads of hours playing it i've really enjoyed the game it's taken me a long time to get to this point where i feel like i can give you a good comprehensive review and whilst the customization isn't there on a character by character basis and stuff like that where you can build your own custom timber timber born people and create your own thing like that you do have a lot of customization in how your world runs that is whether you go down the scientific route or you go down the metal route it's there is a lot to do to it and there is a lot of intricacies that you can get involved with in, in a game like this now this is more of a world builder simulation kind of game and that means that it works very different to other games out there that are of this ilk like you've got sim city skylines the city skylines i always quit sim c because that's what game makes me think of and say civilization and stuff like that now this is definitely one that i feel is very very cute and it's very very well done because you're not playing as people you're playing as beavers and you have to make sure that you've got all the basic amenities that any species would need which is water and food and stuff like that and it does allow for a unique interpretation on the a sim macro world building kind of aspect of these kinds of games and i feel like that is a fun aspect that you can allow a great level of customization into it because when you look at games like these it's one of those where you are you're you're following a cookie cutter mold it's usually just for humans you do this and you do that and you progress and you become super advanced scientist people when you conquer space but this is a sentient advanced beaver type race so it's kind of different which is very interesting in my opinion because it has a level of uniqueness to it and i feel like that is probably what will will attract a lot more people so that is me talking about the customization and stuff like that and now we're going to get into the player recommendations i recommend this game for anyone who is a fan of this style of game basically if you are a fan of sims sim games if you're a fan of world builder games these are ones for you it's definitely one that will add a level of into it, uniqueness to it and it will add a lot of fun this is definitely one that you could both do single player or on in content it will definitely be one that you'd have to think about when it comes to content 
I'm sure you could get your community involved in in many ways so that they could help name characters, be named as different beavers and getting involved with it in that way, which is the standard way that you'd probably get people involved in this kind of game or let them decide the, the race you go or what specific big decisions you make within your your settlement or whatever you want to call it your town your people your 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 world <laughs> it's a good game and i feel like they've done a very good job of it but it is definitely a very niche market and i feel like that definitely reflects on its on its uh, play recommendation so the gameplay obviously this game is of a specific style it plays to the to its market very well and its market is as i've said before it is the market of people who like to do games like city skylines and civilization and stuff like that it is definitely one that whilst it may not be for everyone it is definitely one that will have a unique appeal to a lot of people i feel like this game is very fun and it has a very unique and broad appeal for a lot of people who are looking for something different and i feel like that definitely leads it into a specific space when it comes to a game that might appeal to other people now again this is all definitely just down to conjecture and, and me trying to think about it and trying to put myself in the position of other people and where i feel like this game would best be suited and i feel like they've done a very good job with trying to create a game that is aimed at a specific market and they've done a really good job with that but my final thoughts on this one are probably going to be this game is definitely this and as i as i as i go into the final thoughts you guys know that these are always my opinions and my thoughts on how i see it i i, I always try and make sure that my opinions are well thought through and again i always i always value everyone else's opinion on these because when we can discuss this stuff in this space and accept that not everyone's opinion is going to be correct or the right answer it's going to bring us to a place where we can accept each other's opinions and thoughts and we can share those together in a constructive manner that being said i feel like this game definitely has a lot of niche appeal to its market and they've aimed it specifically at their market with the knowledge that they are not going to be getting a person who plays call of duty jumping in and being like oh i must play this game it's aimed specifically at the market they know that they're aiming for which are people who like rts's people who like world builder games people who like sims and stuff like that it's definitely one that has its scope narrowed down to a specific field and it shows that's not a bad thing that's just it, it they know their market and i feel like if they've done a really good job with the game it's well well designed it plays very well it's smooth it's a lot of fun as a person who's played this style of game before i could sit here and spend hours and hours and hours playing it and get lost in developing all these amazing things and just be lost in this world but it may not appeal to everyone so that being said if you guys have a difference of opinion let me know what you think sound off in the comments and as always guys thank you for all the love and support remember to like comment and share and ring that subscribe bell and stay notified and all that stuff and i will see you in the next one guys be safe be well have fun gaming and creating and i'll see you then bye guys